Greetings. Today I want to remind you to value your privacy. When you're dealing with those who have certain tendencies, narcissistic tendencies, you will begin to see certain patterns once you pay attention. There are two traits that narcissists use quite a bit. And you can protect yourself from these traits, or at least once you're aware of these things, you can see these people for who they are. You pay attention to their mirroring. Because when they mirror somebody, what they're doing is they see something that they admire within you. And they reflect that back to you. And sometimes it takes a while for somebody to see that. However, once you do catch wind, once you do see this trait in a person, the best thing you can do is become boring. Uh, some will call it gray rock, where you don't say much or you say nothing. Uh, even if you go no contact, no contact, oh yeah, it helps. But if you're in a situation where you have to interact with these people, become very boring very mundane have little to nothing to say and in doing so you're not giving them anything to mirror and this is helpful because no matter what they copy on the outside they can copy the way you dress they can copy the way you move okay but what they're doing is they're copying the end result of a concept of you have of yourself so if you don't give them anything to copy then they're not able to feed on the aspect of you. Simple, not always easy. But over time, you'll begin to see, more often than not, that people will copy things that they see within you that they admire, and you didn't even know that they even cared. You had no idea. But they only copy you because they don't see it within themselves. That's the interesting part. Another aspect is when it comes to a narcissist dealing with their own weaknesses, they don't. If they feel a weakness within them, if they feel ashamed about something, if they feel uh, even a sense of ignorance about something, they project it onto somebody else. That's their first response. They will not deal with it at all. They were projected onto others. And at its most basic level, they want other people to deal with their problems. Now, that's a mind game if I've ever seen one. Instead of dealing with their own issues, project it onto others, and then they'll never have a problem because it's always somebody else's problem. They shifted the accountability in their mind, in their world. It's okay. The way to prevent this, or the way to protect yourself against it, I should say, you're not able to prevent it because you're not able to control what they do with their own choices. But for yourself, if you have an inkling that you may be dealing with somebody who has narcissistic tendencies, simply take a step back, physically and mentally, and think about it. Don't even react. You might not even have a response. Just think about it. Is what they're saying true? Don't make it true for yourself, but is what they're saying true for who's passing the buck? For who's projecting? Don't attempt to make it true for yourself. First, see if it applies to them. Because if you see how it applies to them, it allows you to say, okay. Although there may be some truth in it for myself, is it really about me or is it really about them? And what you'll see is not only is it more so about them, but you'll see how they benefit from not dealing with it. Because more often than not, when these weaknesses come up, when they spew these projections out onto the world, even those who they rely on for a heavy supply, 
when they send those projections out, they're showing you who they are. They're showing you who they believe themselves to be. So much so that they don't want to face themselves. So they put it on to you. So you must protect yourself. When you allow yourself to step back, see the forest for the trees, and understand what's really going on, you'll say, okay, I see what's happening. I'll maneuver this way. I understand what or who I'm interacting with. I'll maneuver this way. And it could be anybody. It could be those that we've known for years. It could be somebody that we've known for a few days. It takes clarity of self to be able to say, you know what? It's not about me. It's about them. And move forward with that information. Sometimes there are things that we must change. That's part of the protection. Sometimes it is dialing it back. Sometimes that is maneuvering in a way that we're not exposed to or that we're not interacting with certain environments or people. Oh, that's okay. Those are things that help us have a better quality of life. Those are the things that allow us to stay within our, our perceived truth and allow us to have peace within ourselves. But when you're maneuvering around others who don't have that kind of peace or don't even value or search for that kind of peace, but they need outside validation. It's on us to make the choices to protect ourselves. Maneuver accordingly. I think that's a good place to leave it for now. Be blessed.